Well, the thing about East, it was uh, it was a bit of a purple patch, a bit of a, a a little mini golden era because suddenly all of us got the confidence up to have give writing writing a song a go. With, to, you know, previously, apart from one or two minor efforts. We'd left it all, all the songwriting to Dom Walker, who was starting to say, guys, I need some help here. <laughs> it was just a, a wonderful time when it was sort of just every day, uh, you know, one, any one of us was coming up with an idea and uh, running it past the rest of the guys, and it was wonderful excitement. So, yeah, it was just, just a great way to go into the studios, Paradise Studios in uh, in, in Woolloomooloo, and, which was a great studio. We... Uh, just yeah just kept rocking you know doing demos and going oh that was a great demo i think we better keep that as the actual record and you know five six eight weeks maybe it was all all done we had no idea no, no idea of course it was going to be successful it was our third album and the the, the first two had kind of done okay but uh you know we since uh, after breakfast at sweethearts we toured and toured and toured and we're definitely building up audiences anyway but we just put the album out i think it might have been about june 7th or something of 1980 and started touring had this massive tour booked and just noticed that the crowds had like tripled quadrupled and we're just blown away and and you know just part of that building parting that journey part of that journey of you know starting off to barely no one in the room then the room's quarter filled then half then next thing you know they're sort of actually you could have you could have filled the room three times over and that kind of thing uh it's just a, a, a wonderful experience and yes east was the album that uh, really sort of put us out there and got us over the line